All right, guys, a quick update for you. We have had the CPI data come out just around 20 minutes ago. I wanted to bring you this update as quickly as I possibly could. So let's jump into it. Sadly, the CPI data, 8.2%. We spoke about this in earlier today's video where the market was expecting or hoping for, let's say, an 8.1% increase. And we got a 0.1% higher than expected inflation again. Now, we were talking about this earlier in the video where we did get some news from the Fed in their Fed minutes that they were expected to continually raise interest rates for the foreseeable future until they get ahead of inflation. So in my opinion, this sees us at two more basis point hikes of 75 points. Now, this is exactly what we were expecting, but how exactly did the charts play out on this? DXY trending upwards, which is of course what we could have expected. Let's get rid of that because it's not happening. We still have the opportunity to put in a lower high. So let's see really how this plays out for the next couple of days. Bitcoin right now, as we take as we speak, testing again, retesting our descending line of resistance, right? We broke through it. I was hoping that we would put in this W pattern and potentially, potentially, we are in a very, very deciding moment. If Bitcoin breaks below this on the weekly, we will be back below this descending trend line, which won't be so good for the market. Of course, retesting these lows of 17,500 was always on the cards and we have to expect what can happen on both sides. Now, not necessarily an all bad, all round bad thing if we do hold the levels that we are right now, but it's really hard to tell what's going to happen. This is why I tend to stay away from trading exactly the data because honestly, we don't know how the market is going to react. So the information's out, the market is red. Surprisingly, Huawei token is still up today, but of course, of course, Bitcoin, the stock markets, all of the markets are going to react. And now we got to wait idly until November 10 when we find out the next CPI data reading, which I'm sure is going to still be worse than what the analysts predict. But what we have here, again, is still our, op our opportunity for trading volatility and making the best out of this situation. Dollar cost averaging into things that we believe in is still number one in my eyes. Of course, we could go much lower from where we are right now, but dollar cost averaging will make you average the best price. No one has any idea how low or how high Bitcoin can go. Therefore, in my opinion, dollar cost averaging is key. And of course, we can still make money Money by trading whether or not Bitcoin goes up or Bitcoin goes down. There's links down there in my description to over $12,000 worth of bonuses for these platforms where you can do leverage trading, but please only do it if you are an experienced trader. In fact, BitGet right now does have access to a demo account. So if you sign up, you can make the best of their bonuses and you can start trading on their demo account until you yourself are ready for risking real money because the risks are of course real. Anyway, that is my quick update just in case you're wondering what what the CPI data was. There you have it. It's 8.2.